look at the next topic. Okay. So we talk about meiosis, the mechanism that contribute to the genetic variations. So what are the mechanism? Means that the idea, the weight. So first, in the meiosis, we have the independent assortment and also crossing over. So independent assortments, to more detail here, is the independent assortments of homologous chromosome, which we can count it. Then we can count the probability. Okay. Crossing over, I think, uh, sorry, this one takes place during metaphase one. And write down. And crossing over actually takes place during the prophase one. Random mating, okay, what's the random mating? Random mating, basically, you do not have a preference on the mate. So means that it's quite rare, in, okay, quite rare in terms of the, the animal world, okay, even though, I mean, say that sometimes the drunk is not considered as the random mating as well, okay? What it means here when talk about random mating, basically, means that you do not choose your mate. Each of the, uh, the, the individual in the populations have the same chance to mate. So it means that we don't care about appearance, we don't care about social economic status, we don't care about the phenotypes, we don't care about the behavior. That's what it means by random mating. But random fertilization always takes place because we cannot control which sperm going to fertilize which over. Okay. So we're going to start the first one, independent assortments of homologous chromosome. This is due to the arrangement, the random orientations of the chromosome at metaphase one. And why this is very, very important? Because if without independent assortment, which is impossible, we, got, we can't control in this case, okay, we will be able to mix maternal and paternal chromosome in one cell. This is the idea. Okay, so what I mean here is, now look at this. If I started with, I ignore, guys, here, I ignore. Okay, I ignore the effect of the crossing over, assuming that no crossing over take place. So if I assume that no crossing over take place and independent assortment take place, what will happen here is, if I have blue chromosome, Okay, big one and blue, small one. This blue color, you get it or we get it from our paternal side, father. Okay, and from the maternal side, it's a red color. Okay, so this one, we get it from the maternal side. If there is no independent assortment, whenever we produce gametes, our gametes will be always paternal at one side after meiosis one. Look at this, huh? Means that always paternal one together with the paternal, maternal with the maternal. There is no recombination. Can you see that? We cannot recombine them if let's say no independent assortment. So you continue with the meiosis 2. Then you will see that at the end of the meiosis, paternal always with paternal, maternal always with maternal. We split it right. Okay, I mean, uh, not, I mean we divide the, okay. Small one. Can I say red color always with red color? There is no recombination. But this is not true. Why? Because during metaphase two, actually during metaphase one, the arrangement may not be this way. It might be, so I say, oh, another arrangement. Because we cannot control. We cannot control. Okay? So, now, independent assortments allow us to have the recombination. Can you see that? Recombinations of the paternal and maternal chromosome. You get the idea? 
So it means that at the end of the process, okay, meiosis one and meiosis two, I will get the combinations. Four cells, I will get the blue and red combined together. So can you see that the paternal and maternal chromosome can be combined, okay? Or I mean, what we call this, uh, re, re, I mean, uh, what we call this, uh, recombines, okay? During this independent assortment. So if you zoom it in now, you can see that I have how many type of combination? I have one type of combination, second type of combination, third type of combination, fourth type of combination, instead of two. If no independent assortment, only two, correct or not? But now I have additional of these two due to what? Due to the independent assortments of the homologous chromosome during the metaphase one. Are you clear? So, and what is the chance? Because they are totally random, right? We don't arrange them, right? So the chances here will be each combination be one over four. Okay. So it means that if you consider, guys, if we consider in this cell 2n equal to 4, I will have four different kinds of combinations. How about in terms of humans? If we have the totally independent assortments of all our 46 chromosomes, okay, what is our, our we call this, uh, probability for each combination? Let us do a simple calculation here. If I represent the capital letter, a is the chromosome from paternal. Capital B from paternal, father. Small a, small b. Okay? Or I may have, I can arrange big A, small b, small a, big b. So in this case, I will going to have the four different combinations. Big A, big B together. Small a, small b together. Big A, small B together, small A, small B together. So total, I have four combination. But if I have three, this is 2N equal to four. 2N equal to four. But if I have 2N equal to six, what will happen here is, you can see that if I have big A, big B, big C. I have small a, small b, small c. So in these combinations, I will going to have a, b, c together, small a, small b, small c together. But independent assortments may not take may take place now. Move the c. So now I create the different variations now. Big a, big b, small c. Small a, small b, big c. Can I see that? Or I may have big A, small a, small b, big b, big c, small c. So in this case, I will have big A, small b, big c, small a, big b, small c. Can I see that? Or I may have small a, big a, big b, small b, big c, small c. Then I will get the combinations of small a, big B, big C, small a, a, big A, small b, small c. Can I see that? So total, I will have eight combinations. So with the increase, with the increase of number of chromosomes, you will realize that the number of combinations will be larger and larger. More combinations, more variation, and each of them will be one over eight. Random. Can you see that? So basically how you can calculate, how you can calculate if 2n equal to four, combinations equal to four. 2n equal to six, combinations now become eight. What is the number if 2n equal to eight? It becomes 16 combinations. 
If 2n equal to uh, 10, the combination becomes 32 with the formula number of combinations equal to 2 to the power n, n equal to the haploid number of cells. Okay, so now we're going to look at how unique we can be. Okay, so for human, we are 2n equal to 46, so n equal to 23. So means that the number of combinations, now we ignore, guys, we ignore, this one is something that we can calculate. Okay, something that we can calculate. If we ignore, I mean, sorry, if we put in the crossing over even huge, eh, uh, uh, larger in terms of the combination. So in this case, number of combinations were equal to 2 to the power of 23, actually more than 8 million combinations. So what is the idea of 8 million? So means that if let's say uh, we follow, uh, we follow, uh, so each sperm cells, uh, each sperm cells will be one combination. If let's say no repeat of the combination, the sperm cell will need more than 8 million, more than 8 million to get that particular complete combination. Are you clear? And it's not like 8 million going to fertilize everything, right? It's only one out of 8 million. So means that to choose the fertilizations, so you yourself, we, from our father's side, we choose one out of 8 million. From father sperms, from maternal, from mother side, also one out of eight million. So if we multiply it, this one actually is more than trillions. Are you clear? So it means that the probability to find, the probability to find the another you with a genetically identical, unless you are identical twins, if no, is almost approaching zero. Can I see that? One out of eight millions multiplied with one out of eight millions, what is the probability? Can I see that? To find, because you won't get, okay? If, 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 you can think, oh, how about my friend? Your friend is not the same father and mother and you. So it means that genetically, their fathers and our fathers or my fathers will be different. My mother and, and his mother will be different. So it means that in terms of the, the, the genetic, definitely different. You won't be have more than eight millions of your, your your sibling. Can I see that? So that's why, based on this independent assortment, you will know that's actually how unique you are because of this independent assortment. Okay. So what is the function independent assortment? Independent assortments basically we want to recombine. Okay. So the idea here is the combinations of the maternal and also the paternal chromosome. Okay, the idea here, okay. So the number of chromosome combinations, okay, for daughter cell form by meiosis of a diploid cells with two pair is n equal to two diploid. So we get a four. So it will calculate the formula is two to the power n, where n equal to haploid. So it means for humans, for humans, each, each time will be two to the power 23, basically about 8.4 million possible combinations and we actually use only one out of 8.4 combination from the father and one out of four 8.4 million from our mother okay oops this is wrong this is crossing over my bad okay a quick one so crossing over basically if the independent assortments we take the entire one okay but chromosome when the crossing over actually is a mix and match. Basically, we do mix and match. In this case, we're going to produce what we call the recombinant chromosome. So it means that uh, if you look at the independent assortment, we take entirely. Oh, this is from father. Oh, this is from mother. But when you talk about crossing over, you're going to recombine now. So can you see that mix and match in this case? So we produce this kind of 
the the chromosome we call as a recombinant chromosome, recombine. So it's going to cause even more genetic variations. Are you clear? And the occurrence of the crossing over depends on the length of the chromosome and the positions of the centromere. This one we're going to tell you guys more when we come to the crossing over uh, in another parts. Okay. Yeah? So when during the prophase one, and what actually happened here, we have the exchange of the allele, okay? exchange of the allele. Now, exchange of the gene is not correct. Huh? Exchange of the gene loci correct, exchange of the gene is not correct. Okay, so the correct words to be used here is allele. Okay. Then, because of this, we do have what we call the independent assortments of sister chromatids. So it means the sister chromatids are no longer identical. So it means that the way you position them will be different. So it result more recombinant chromatids here. So both of them actually increase what we call the genetic variations of the daughter cells. Random mating and random fertilizations. Random mating basically is a mating between individuals where the choice of partner is not influenced by the genotypes, phenotype, behavior, and a social preference. So it means that every potential mate will have the equal chance and all genetic recombination is possible. So this one is very, very rare in animal world. Okay. So how about random fertilizations? So random fertilizer at the genetic variation arising from meiosis. Basically, male and female gametes represents for humans about 8.4 million possible combinations. So if we actually get the probability, one female gamete fertilized with one male gamete, is, the combination will be one out of 70 trillions, uh, the combination. Are you clear? 70 trillion. So in fact, you won't be able, you won't be able to find any of you in terms of the genetically identical. Only two possible. One is identical twins, means that your parents hide another in identical twins, uh, identical twins in other overseas. We don't know. Okay, you have to ask your parents. Or your father or mother they clone you. If no, you won't be able to get any genetically identical person as you okay so with this i have done for today class if you want to register attendance you can try some question here okay and register your attendance okay i mean just for my own records this attendance yeah